we are, we've eaten breakfast, we're getting ready to go do some street witnessing, which I've never done before. I'm passing out these little tracks. If you don't know what tracks are, they're like little Christian comic books. Um, I can find them. Let's see if I can find one. Do you have any tracks in your bag? No, yeah. she's going to pass the story. Oh, okay. It's so like a Christian comic book that is like this big that you can hand out. And so we got them with um, people that look like them on the cover. So people that look black or African American or whatever the PC word is. And then you give them out to them and it tells them about Jesus, but it's, it kind of speaks in the lingo that they understand. So I've seen tracks before, like a long time ago, but I've never given them out. So that is what we're getting ready to do. Listen, I'm trying to come back with a drinking accent, guys, because I mean, I really look like it. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm joking. But anyways, it's going to be a really nice day and I'm excited. I was nervous about it. And yes, last night, one of the um, other women that were with she's older she said last year she was really nervous about it but then when she got the hang of it she loved it and i think that's what's gonna happen with me so it's gonna be a good day we're doing that this morning until we come back for lunch and then um i forgot what we're doing this afternoon i think we're going to the infirmary so which is like their hospital i think and we'll be doing that so yeah really exciting really exciting Good morning. God bless you. Good morning. I want to scoot back a little bit. Can we scoot down a little bit? Can we scoot down? Like scoot back. Rachel, what are your thoughts? Um, you know, eye opening. It really just um, I don't know, blows my mind. Yeah, we have way too much. Yeah. Way too much. Way too much. Yeah. Think how people live and this is just normal to them. Right. It's just normal. Like this is just what but like this is life. Yeah. We've been giving these out. We've been seeing people reading them and stuff. Hi. And um it kind of breaks your heart because that's all people want. We have God and more at home, but people here don't even know who Jesus is. Jesus who he is or I've ever experienced him. Good morning. Um, and it's like they're not even used to someone being nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the love of Christ. Good morning. God, Good bless, morning. You. God bless you. Um, just through like a warm smile. They don't know how to receive it. So they ignore it. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. God bless you. Um, it's eye opening for, for sure. How people are living. So. Good morning. <laughs> Hi! Good morning! This is the time where we put up that sign. We're now waiting for the group because we split up into three teams. So now we're trying to figure out where everybody else is. But I don't know. It made my heart so happy to see somebody stop and actually read the track that we gave them. They like stopped and kind of read it like, what is this? It's just so incredibly powerful and I just pray that someone will truly receive Jesus off of these, you know. I think too hard about it, I'm gonna cry. Don't cry. 
BG, don't cry. It's all good. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Hello. Dog. I don't know whose dog that is. I usually don't pet dogs. I don't know. I thought Roscoe was somebody's breakfast. No? That, that, that's Roscoe's cousin. <laughs> that sounds more appropriate. You weren't kidding. Okay, so we'll do that. Did you do it okay? <laughs> It's kind of overwhelming, to be honest. I can't really say anything, because it's like, what do you say? For some reason, we don't even have anybody come visit them or anything. They're just kind of here. So, it's kind of heartbreaking, to be honest. I think what blessed me most was the ones who sent along. And like read and quoted scripture, mm -hmm. scripture and stuff too. Yeah, I think so too. It was such a blessing. I was like, wow. It's like you still are holding on to your faith. Still. Still holding on to your faith. <sighs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah, they've not given up on God. No, not at all. So how easily Like we go through like a little hardship. Our cars break down a little bit and we're t toe up and messed up. 
And they this is this is all they have. And they're still holding on. The women are kept separated because there's not a building big enough for them. So they're kept separated and they only watch TV where the men are kept together and they get to play dominoes and a whole bunch of games that help with their like memory and stuff. But the women there's not a building big enough. Again, excuse my I'm having a major breakout right now. I don't really know what's going on. So yeah. I don't remember so all the day. We can sing that chorus, okay? Bind us together. Bind us together. Bind us together. All right. All right. Bind us mm -mm. together. Bind us together. Bind us together. Oh, Chickens just randomly running around. That is not my thing. I don't think they like They randomly run around. That's not my thing. Somebody give us a song. They just run around and they just go. Oh, we're starting to walk towards me now. So today was emotional, for sure. Um, I was so uncomfortable at the infirmary. Um, I was just, it was just really uncomfortable. I mean, I'm like that at home, but it was much worse. Um, there's no air conditioning. These people are just in these <clears throat> shacks, almost with tin roofs, and um, there. She said, um, the head instructor said that if they if they go there, they don't go home. So it's kind of like the hospice um, here in Jamaica. And I was so uncomfortable because. Um, which sounds terrible, right? It, and it took time for me to adjust. Now, yeah, some of the men, especially when we went to the men's ward, um, <clears throat> some of the men were trying to hit on you or whatever, which happens at home. Hit on me, but that happens at home. But it was more so it's just different. You don't understand what they're saying. I think for me, it's more just being sheltered. So I was just kind of like, I don't really know what's going to happen, how they're going to act. But then once I let my guard down and we started singing hymns, it was like, wow, this is so sweet. And like, um, there was one guy, his name was Clive. And he sang to me, sang a bunch of hymns to me, and he was just very sweet. And then they're all in one big room. I mean, there's this long room of these men. I was probably like 30-something men, 15 on each side. And <clears throat> they're just laying on the bed just there. There's flies flying around and everything. And it's just like, wow, like these are the conditions. And then to come out and to find out that apparently that was clean compared to what it could have been and what it would have been elsewhere. Um... It broke my heart that it took so long for me to adjust, but it was just kind of a learning, an eye-opening opportunity for me. But also a point that was made was they're still so happy. I mean, I, I'm a CCM girl. I love contemporary Christian music. I love gospel music. But when it comes to like old hymns and stuff, I'm like, y'all can keep it. That old school stuff, y'all can keep it. But it was so sweet to see these residents or whatever they call them here singing along to the hymns that you've known that have gone on for generation to generation i mean families that have passed these hymns down people that were ambu amputees and um couldn't move and bedridden and different body parts twisted and conformed and um to just see them singing and be joyous singing those songs like a couple of the men wouldn't stop singing um they were just happy to have somebody there and to pray with them and to sing to them and stuff and it was just so overwhelming I think <clears throat> and then one of our other guys in our group he led two people to the Lord one of the women she was working in construction I don't know if you if you saw depending on the clip I put in um, they were building a building or something I hopefully to put all the women together because like I said before they're separated and I wasn't there for it, but they were just telling me they led her to the Lord and then one of the men the inmate men something just went flying um He's not inmate, sorry, residents to the Lord as well. And so um, 
it was just it was just a really really good day it rained here which has cooled everything down even though i'm so a little sweaty um <clears throat> but because um, of how the water system is here we have running water but because it rained they cut all the water off so all of the water is cut off at least on our side of town um, so they had to get water off the water heaters which are on top of the roofs of these houses so um, we've been having these like hand wipes and stuff so talk about ministry talk about ministry but I don't know it's truly amazing I kind of want to walk around but I'm nervous No, I'm going back to the house. I ain't got it. It was a good day though. I'm excited about the rest of the day. Come on, Jasmine. 180. I love this assembly line! 